The graph above shows the ratings of six pikes of films. Ratatouille is the highest rated film, with a score of 96. Finding Nemo and The Incredibles were the two lowest rated films. Wall-E is the next critically acclaimed film. Toy Story 3 and Toy Story both received 92 points. All of Pikes's films received positive reviews, with an average score of 92.33. Overall, Toy Story 3 and Toy Story, as well as Finding Nemo and The Incredibles, received the same rating. The graph below shows the current status of nuclear power plants in Europe. The biggest nuclear power generation, as seen on the map, is in France, with 58 reactors. Following that, Russia has the second largest, with a total of 30. The Netherlands, on the other hand, has the least number at 1. Spain has 7, Germany has 8, and the United Kingdom has 15. Finally, France is the world's greatest nuclear power producer. Using this graph, you can see how to type correctly and incorrectly on a computer keyboard. The green flagged figures on the left show the correct method of typing, with the hands placed evenly over the keyboard, at a straight angle. On the right, you will see statistics that are highlighted in red since they depict incorrect typing positions. There are pictures of hands that are too far apart and pictures of hands that are too near. In addition, their hands are shown at unnatural angles, either too high or too low. In the workplace, this graphic might serve as a reminder for employees on proper typing technique.
The bar graph, which is measured in tens of thousands, depicts the week's worth of daily vehicle production. As the week progresses, it appears that automobile production rises steadily, peaking at 13,400 cars on Wednesday and then fluctuating, with just 2,000 cars manufactured on Saturday and no cars made on Sunday. Overall, Wednesday is the day when the most automobiles are created, while Sunday is the only day when no cars are made. This process diagram depicts hydrological cycle. Through transpiration process water from trees goes up in the air to form a cloud while through evaporation process water from oceans, rivers, lakes and various water body goes up in the air to form a cloud. Condensed clouds bring forth precipitation on earth. Though surface runoff rain water goes to the ocean, river, lakes and various water bodies while through underground runoff rain water recharge aquifers. Though capillary action trees draw underground water. Hydrological cycle indicates that total volume of water remains same in the system. This graph shows the growth of the population in Canada from 1978 to 2009. It is taken from the website about statistics in Canada. There are three graphs in the chart. The green graph shows the total growth of the population, the black one deals with the migrated people in Canada and the blue graph shows the natural increase of the population. In 1988 forward slash 89 there was an enormous growth. In the following years the total growth went down to about 250,000 in 1998 forward slash 99. From that time on the Canadian population has been gradually growing again although the natural increase slows down. So we can say that the growth of the population in Canada is based on migration.
Viruses assault cells to make new viruses in this process. When a virus enters a cell, it initially adheres to it during the adsorption stage. Replication occurs next, during which time the virus continues to create new proteins and acids. These amino acids and proteins are put together to create new viruses in the assembly step. Finally, the cell lets go of these new viruses. As a whole, a virus goes through a number of phases to replicate itself within a cell, from adsorption through release. In 2007 and 1991, the data shown in these pie charts illustrates various housing types, such as owner-occupied, socially subsidized, privately rented, and public housing. Since 1991, there have been just 22 million dwellings in total, compared to 27 million in 2007. In both periods, the majority of the population was made up of homeowners, and the percentage rose from 1991 to 2007 as the population grew. From 1991 to 2007, the total number of social housing units declined considerably. Between 1991 and 2007, private renting remained steady, while social renting decreased marginally. The figures show the evolution of hose kinds from 1991 to 2007. This graph shows the total number of students that participated in high school athletics from 1971 to 2010. Boys' participation increased from 3.6 million to 4.4 million between 1971 and 1977, then dropped to almost 3.4 million before rising to 4.5 million in 2009. Girls' participation increased from 400,000 to 2 million between 1971 and 1977 then dropped to almost 1.9 million before rising to 2.6 million in 2009. This pattern holds true for both genders.
In percentage terms, this graph shows how economic activity has changed throughout time. A reduction in life expectancy has occurred from the Federation generation's 44.2 years to the Gen ZS 42.5 years, as seen in the chart below. The average life expectancy has risen from 53.6 to 70.6 years, which is a considerable increase. As a result, the percentage of Gen Zers who are inactive has risen from 9.4% to 28.1%. The percentage of people who are sedentary has risen from 17.6% to 39.8% in the last decade. The level of economic inactivity has risen steadily over the years. The image serves as a visual record of the experiment's results. Students and their teacher are doing an experiment on the blue desk in the photo, as can be seen. The experiment that one of the pupils is conducting appears to be being closely monitored by the teacher. In addition, we can see that all of the students are wearing protective eyewear for their own protection. To summarize, this image depicts the steps involved in doing a chemical experiment. The image shows the slum area and urban area on two sides of the sea. On the front side, there is a slum area where two underprivileged children and a man can be seen. On the other side, there are skyscrapers, it can be mall, offices or any residential areas. One can see the lifestyle of slum area people as they live in open places which are not clean. Clothes are scattered everywhere near slums. Young children can be observed without clothes and no one is there to look after children. A black hen can be seen. Green trees can be noticed on the other side near skyscrapers.
This demonstration illustrates how water currents work. From west to east, a cold and salty deep current flows. The cold current is now a warm shallow current that travels from east to west due to the warming of ocean waters by the sun. Warm shallow currents return to cold and salty deep currents as a result of sea to air heat transfer. A cyclical pattern may be observed in the flow of water. In 2012, the graph illustrates the percentage of the population living in poverty by age and gender. When it comes to females, the graph shows that the biggest percentage is seen among those under the age of 18, at around 22.3%. The graph shows that the second largest number is in, with an approximate value of. On the graph, about is the smallest number, which can be discovered. To sum everything up, this is a helpful diagram. The pie chart displays the many modes of transportation utilized by Birmingham residents. Birmingham residents rely on public transportation more than they do on their automobiles. Buses are used by 38.9% of persons for everyday commuting, while trains are used by 30.5%. Only 11.5% of the population travels by automobile. In Birmingham, 19.1% of people commute by cab. In Birmingham, Buses are the predominant means of transportation. The chemical transition is depicted in the following graph. 
The first phase, according to the diagram, is chemical sources, which are created by industry, transportation, or smelting, and electricity generation. Following that, the second step is about emissions, which means wastes will be emitted to the atmosphere amazing as nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide. Chemical transformation is the third phase, which converts the ingredients into nitric acid and sulfuric acid. After then, it is separated into two categories, condensation and dry fallout, which contains particles and gases. Finally, precipitation, acid rain, fog, snow, and mist will occur. Finally, this graph is quite useful. The figure depicts the several phases of a honeybee's life. We can observe that the entire life cycle takes 34 to 36 days to complete. It's also worth noting that the honeybee's development is divided into five phases, from egg to full adult insect. The honeybee's life cycle begins when a female adult lays an egg. The female normally lays one or two eggs every three days. Eggs hatch in nine to ten days. Young bees emerge from the eggs in five to seven days. The nymph molds three times as it grows, and lastly, the nymph matures in four days. The graph shows how our planet's atmosphere is filled with air. When we look up at the picture, we can clearly see the North Pole and the descent of frigid air, as shown in the graph. The equator and rising warm air are clearly visible in the middle of the image, as shown in the graph. According to the graph, we can clearly see the South Pole and frigid air falling from the bottom of the picture. Infrared cameras pick up red and orange hues in the hot air. When we look at the whiteness of the air, we know it's cold. This is a helpful image in the end.
A youngster might become a victim of several forms of bullying actions at school on a regular basis. The majority of them are name-calling and insults, which account for 80% of the events, followed by shoving forward slash hitting, 39%, threats, 38%, spreading rumors, 29%, internet bullying, 27%, involving friends, 24%, and homophobic comments, 24%, 20%, fighting, sexual comments, exclusion, racial comments, destroying property, theft, and weapon-related offenses account for 16%, 14%, 13%, 11%, 9%, 16%, 12%, 6%, and 4% of all bullying episodes, respectively. There are several languages spoken in Switzerland, as seen on this map. On the map, it's easy to see that German is the most widely spoken language. The vivid green indicates French, which follows. The yellow districts in southeast Switzerland show where Italian is the least spoken language. Generally speaking, German is Switzerland's most widely spoken language, whereas Italian is the least widely spoken language there.